Hey everybody, I got an article here for you today. This is from The Guardian, and I will leave the link below. It says, liquid mercury found under Mexican pyramid could lead to King's tomb. It says, an archaeologist has discovered liquid mercury at the end of a tunnel beneath a Mexican pyramid, a finding that could suggest the existence of a king's tomb or a ritual chamber far below one of the most ancient cities of the Americas. Mexican researcher Sergio Gomez announced on Friday that he had discovered large quantities of liquid mercury in a chamber below the Pyramid of the Feathered Serpent, the third largest pyramid of Teotihuacan, the ruined city in central Mexico. It says Gomez has spent six years slowly excavating the tunnel, which was unsealed in 2003 after 1,800 years. Last November, Gomez and his team announced that they had found three chambers at the tunnel's 300-foot end, almost 60 feet below the temple. It says, near the entrance of the chambers, they found a trove of strange artifacts, jade statues, jaguar remains, and a box filled with car shells and rubber balls. Slowly working their way down the broad, dark, and deep corridor beneath the pyramid, battling humidity and now obliged to wear protective gear against the dangers of mercury poisoning, Gomez and his team are meticulously exploring the three chambers. It says mercury is toxic and capable of devastating the human body through prolonged exposure. The liquid, the liquid metal had no apparent practical purpose for the ancient Mesoamericans, but it has been discovered at other sites. Rosemary Joyce, a professor of anthropology at the University of California, Berkeley, said archaeologists have found mercury at three other sites, two Maya and one Olmec around Central America. And I believe the Olmecs were the older civilization that the Maya inherited their knowledge from. It says, Gomez speculated to Reuters that the Mercury could be a sign that his team is close to uncovering the first royal tomb ever found in Teotihuacan after decades of excavation. And that is purely speculation. It says, the Mercury may have symbolized an underworld river or lake. Gomez postulated an idea that resonated with Annabeth Hedrick, a professor at the University of Denver and author of works on Teotihuacan and Mesoamerican art. The shimmering, reflective qualities of the liquid mercury may have resembled an underworld, or an under, yeah, an underworld river, not that different from the river Styx. Hedrick said, "If only in concept, that it's the entrance to the supernatural world and the entrance to the underworld. Mirrors were considered a way to look into the supernatural world. They were a way to divine what might happen in the future." She said, "It could be sort of a river." albeit a pretty spectacular one. Hedrick said that Mercury was not only the object of fascination, a lot of ritual objects were made reflective with mica, she said, a sparkling mineral likely imported to the region. And it was imported, they have found mica at Teotihuacan. It says in 2013, archeologists using a robot found metallic spheres, which they dubbed disco balls in an unexcavated unexcavated portion of the tunnel near pyrite mirrors. I wish I could understand all the things these guys are finding down there, Hedrick said, but it's unique and that's why it's hard. Water was also precious to the people of Mesoamerica who knew of underground water systems and lakes could be accessed through the caves. Teotihuacan had springs as well, though they are now dried out. And that is a direct connection to the pyramids in Egypt because, of course, the pyramids in Egypt had tunnels and um, water systems running beneath them. And getting back to the article, it says, Joyce said the ancient Mesoamericans could produce liquid mercury by heating mercury ore, known as cinnabar, which they also used for its blood red pigment. The Maya used cinnabar to decorate jade objects and color their bodies and colored the bodies of their royalty, for instance, the people of Teotihuacan, for whom archaeologists have not agreed on a name, have not left any obvious royal remains for studies. And that is one thing about Teotihuacan. It was discovered by the Aztecs, and when it was discovered, it was already in ruins, and the truth is, we have no clue who built Teotihuacan. 
It says, the discovery of a tomb could help solve the enigma of how Te Teotihuacan was ruled, and Joyce said that the concentration of artifacts outside the tunnel chambers could be associated with a tomb or a set of ritual chambers. And that is just, you know, that is just speculation. It's interesting speculation, but that's all it is. It says, a royal tomb could lend credence to the theory that the city, which flourished between 100 and 700 A.D., and that is just when the Aztecs came in and lived around these ruins of Teotihuacan. It says, was ruled by dynasties in a manner of the Maya, though with far less obvious flair for self-glorification. But a royal tomb could also hold the remains of a lord, which may fit with a competing idea about the city. It says, Linda Menzilia, a Mexican archaeologist acclaimed by many of her peers contends that the city was ruled by four lords and notes that the city lacks a palace or apparent depiction of kings on its many murals. Hedrick suggested yet more fluid models in which strong lineages or clans traded rule but never cemented into dynasties or in which rulers relied on agreements with the military to maintain power and authority was vested more in an office more in an office than a family. Ancient Teotihuacan was a city with familiar factions vying for influence, the elite, the military, the merchants, the priests, and the people. And once again, that is all just interesting speculation because the fact is we have no clue what went on when this ancient city was built and we have no idea when it was built. It says, for now, archaeologists and anthropologists continue digging and deducing. Gomez says he hopes excavation of the chambers to be complete by October and Hedrick said that archaeologists are looking at the city from new angles. Some are trying to decipher the paintings and hieroglyphs around the city. Others trying to parse what might be a writing system without verbs or syntax. Then there are the thousands of artifacts, some unprecedented and bizarre, that Gomez and his fellows are disinterring from beneath the pyramid. It's quite the mystery, Hedrick said. It's fun. So I found that very interesting, and they think that this is a symbolic, the Mercury is symbolic for an underworld river leading to the underworld, and that I have no problem with that. But the fact is, this Mercury beneath a pyramid, a very ancient pyramid that we have no idea who built it and in what ancient times it was built, um, we have no idea what this Mercury was used for and it could have been used for something that we just don't understand in today's reality and the way we do things. So if anybody has some theories on why this Mercury is beneath this pyramid of Teotihuacan, please leave a comment below and I think I will just take you out with uh, a, just a brief cliff, clip from one of my previous videos on the Temple of the Feathered Serpent at Teotihuacan. Enjoy it and have a nice day.